We have a major example, thank you very much, a uh, major example of what happened. A conversion like this took in the creation of the internet infrastructure and the computing devices that populate that infrastructure. It had a lot of factors, a lot of forces, it had entrepreneurs in it, it had large companies reaching across the boundaries and shaking up another industry. It had internal transformation and evolution, like the cable industry was an example. <coughs> Investment by companies in mark, uh, other industries and technologies that they never expected to make money on. And guess what? They didn't. Intel being a perfect example in its effort in popularizing multimedia on the internet. Um, and finally, the government, which in various, not exactly smooth ways, changed the rules and regulations and the laws that pertain to the regulation of the industry, as they did in the telecom industry, all leading uh, to an atmosphere, an environment in which co companies competed and complemented each other, competed with each other and complemented with each other with equal energy on a daily basis. Uh, that is what is needed to be done by the companies represented by many of you in this room and an even much larger number who are not. What if you all formed an inter-industry task force with core members from the electric utility industry that is probably the largest and most well-endowed segment so they should participate in a fairly active fashion. The auto industry, the high-tech industries, because intelligence in the grid and in the cars is going to be essential. And it's clear from our feasibility group that academia is, in this case, ahead of the crowd, so they should be participating in it. And we should take our imaginary task force and give them a task come up with a plan to produce 10 million dual fuel PSVs on the road in four year time and pres present this plan to the President of the United States on January 21st. <laughs> Our collective industries are as responsible for this piece of the destruction of the commons as the consumers themselves. We can't point fingers, we have to roll up our sleeves and go to work. We need to develop a retrofit industry for this, and this is a perfect place where we need to ask for assistance from our government to help grease the skids to that and help First, allow, enable the consumers to do this investment at a time when they are bedraggled by the gasoline price anyway and the ongoing problems in the economy. And ask for a contribution from the... Wait a second. One more point I want to make. I'm not asking for a handout. I'm asking for a redeployment of tax revenue make it more expensive to use gasoline in power poles, planes, low mileage vehicles, and ship the money over to make people, uh, allow people to enter the retrofitted universe and use much cheaper, much more friendly to the security and the well-being of the country, electric means, two prongs. I would put the requirement that this becomes revenue neutral so far. In addition to that, I want to go to our hosts and be as ungrateful as I can be for this lunch. Uh, there is no free lunch. The cost of this lunch is you need to help change consumer behavior by providing the mileage of these cars for 
one year, two years, whatever we feel is feasible, free. Remember, it's not very expensive to the utilities. The infrastructure on you is sleeping there. You just take a little bit of relatively inexpensive coal, burn it, and give it away to the consumers, even as the as time goes on, intelligence that will allow you to charge later is being put in place. We need money. There's an awful lot of talk about green tech around here. No green tech is as green as this tech. I would like to see the venture capital community participate in introducing what they know, what they're supposed to know well, the merits of intelligent risk-taking into an industry that has been less risk-taking than some. And I would like the SBA to fuel the growth of the delivery infrastructure once it's established by the, by the venture money. Rebuilding the common requires difficult work, the most difficult of them was to develop a cooperative problem-solving attitude that somehow happened in the internet universe. Those were easier years, better years. I was younger too. 